What's going on guys and welcome back to Forza Horizon 3 and another DLC car pack video. So December's car pack has finally come out for, I say finally, it's come out for Forza Horizon 3. We've got seven new cars to mess around with on Forza Horizon 3 so in this video I'm going to go over all the cars. We start off the pack with the 2015 Bentley EXP10 Speed 6 concept. Bit of a mouthful, pretty nice car, very nice handling car. It was um driving this all this um, all these here are just kind of the first times I've ever driven the cars um, I just took them around a track and you know kind of just saw what they were like um, and yeah this Bentley was quite nice handling pretty quick um, good handling the brakes seemed a little bit weird sometimes at slow speeds they were good at high speeds they weren't great um, however you know it's quite a fun car to drive um, not the best looking car in the world in my opinion never been the biggest fan of Bentleys in general and this one, I mean, with it being a concept, also doesn't look great. Next up, we have the 1996 HSV GTSR. A nice little Australian car to go along with this pack. Uh, I think we've had an Australian car in every DLC so far. I mean, we had the Ford Falcon XR GT, I believe it was, in the last one. Can't remember if we had another one in the one before. Um, but it's always nice to see these Australian cars, especially with the game being set in Australia. This HSV is a very nice one. Um, you see a lot of cars like this around in Australia. Um, I mean, it's an Australian car. This is uh, kind of a more tuned up version. However, kind of the mid to late 90s, uh, what's basically a Holden Commodore, you see a lot of that over here in Australia. And it's cool to just drive one of those in a game. It's a little bit different. Um, next up, we've got the 2017 Jaguar F Pace S. So we've got an SUV in this car pack. I believe this is the first car pack to feature an SUV so far, um, from what I remember, anyway. And it's a pretty nice one. It's, I mean, really, they've taken the backlights of the Jaguar F Type. Uh, the front's the front's very similar to an F Type as well, to be honest. They basically made they've got an F Type. They've given it a few cheeseburgers, and this is what it is now. That's basically what the F-Pace is. Uh, it's not a bad car, it drives quite nicely. It's an SUV, personally, not a big fan of SUVs. However, I would love to do a, um, a cross-country car build of this car, because I haven't done an SUV cross-country car build yet. Now we come to the 2017 Mercedes-AMG GTR. Now, I have mixed opinions on this car. The car itself is very nice. Um, if we didn't have the because I'm, I'm fairly certain we have the mercedes AMG GTS in the game. Fairly certain about that. We had it in Forza Motorsport 6, so I'm pretty sure we have it in this game. Uh, please tell me if we don't. However, I'm fairly sure we do. Because of that, um, this car doesn't interest me quite as much because it's basically just a slightly higher performance, uh, got a few more body mods, sort of uh, AMG, really. That's that's all it is. It's just the AMG GTS with a few body mods. It's an awesome car, however, yeah, it's not the best, I guess. Next up, we have something that is very interesting: the 2014 Morgan Three Wheeler. Um, yeah, I wasn't expecting this car. This is quite an interesting one. I haven't driven this car in any game before, and um, I really never thought I would, but I have now in Forza because because Forza, I guess. Um. Yeah, uh, if you can, I haven't actually checked yet, if you can put rally, or like off-road suspension and off-road tyres on this car, which I would hope you can, then this is going to be the next cross-country car build. There is no doubt about it, because it's so amazing. Up next, we have the 1965 Pontiac GTO. Um, now, this car doesn't, I don't really know about this car. It's a, if, it, if it was just in the game as standard, um, perfectly good car. It's a very nice car, you know, a classic American muscle car. What's not to like about it, really? Um, however, I don't think it, it's a bit boring, really. It's just a, I mean, it's just a Pontiac GTO. There's nothing special about it. Um, I just, I don't, I don't know, really. I mean, if you're really into muscle cars, then this is probably your cup of tea. But me personally, I like muscle cars. But no, it doesn't really interest me that much. It just feels a little bit boring. And also what, in my opinion, is a little bit boring, the 1992 Toyota Supra 2.0 GT Twin Turbo. Um, every car back so far seems to have a car like this. Basically, they always seem to add a car for the drifters to mess around with. I mean, last time out we got the, uh, the Nissan Silvia and the Mazda RX-7. I can't remember what we had the time before that. But this time we've got the Supra. Um, but it's kind of a 
boring lame Supra, in my opinion. I mean, I would if I could own a car like this, that would be cool. I would own a car like this in real life, no doubt about it. However, in a game, mm, it doesn't really interest me. A little bit boring once again, but um, yeah, I mean, it's an alright car. It drives alright, it's relatively fast. It's a Toyota Supra, but an older one, so yeah. Um, This car pack was kind of a bit... I don't really know. It was a pretty good car pack in some aspects. I mean, the Bentley, although it's not really my cup of tea, pretty cool car. I don't mind that. Uh, the HSV is nice to see in the game. Um, the Jaguar F-Pace, we've got another SUV. It's a Jaguar. It's a new car. I'll take that. The Mercedes AMG GTR, I'm a bit mixed on because we already have a GTS. At least I think we do. But it's still a pretty cool car. Um, the Morgan three-wheeler is just awesome. I think that's probably the uh, the high point of the pack. Uh, the Pontiac GTO, a little bit boring. Toyota Supra, also a little bit boring in my opinion. But anyway, that is it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed, please go ahead, like, and subscribe. Comment what other videos you'd like to see of Forza Horizon 3 in the description. And tell me what you thought of this DLC car pack. And I will see you guys in the next video.